Hi, this is Finn Peacock again, and in this video I'm going to go through the results of the solar power savings calculators. In the last video we went through what all these inputs mean, and in this video um, we're going to look at the graph that's generated uh, from all the inputs that we put in. The idea of this graph is that it shows you the cash flow of owning the system um, on a month by month basis so you can see as I move the mouse over the bars it's telling me in this situation which is let's just remind ourselves we are in Victoria we've got a three kilowatt system it's costing us ten thousand dollars it's generating just short of four thousand kilowatt hours a year um, we've got the feed-in tariff we're estimating we're exporting 60% of our electricity uh, we're taking into account inverter replacement opportunity cost and you'll see we're still we're actually getting a positive quite a nice positive cash flow from day one so we're starting off you know, from the from the moment we switch on the solar system we're we're in the green by ninety dollars a month and that's compared to you know leaving the 10 grand in the bank and collecting the interest and using the interest to pay the electricity bill. So that's what it's showing us. This dip over here is because I've assumed uh, we have to replace the inverter after 15 years. So I'm assuming that you'll pay for the inverter over a year. So that's why you've taken a hit to your cash flow there. If we untick that box, um, we still get a dip after 15 years, but that's because if we look up here, we've said that the feed-in tariff is going to end after 15 years. Touch wood, the politicians keep <laughs> promise. Uh, so you can see, even though the feed-in tariff's ended, you're still getting a nice positive cash flow, because basically because uh, we're assuming the electricity prices are going to go up a hell of a lot in 15 years. Um, down at the bottom, beneath the graph, if you look around here, uh, it's telling you, it's adding up the total electricity savings, so you'll uh, earn $23,582.63 over the twenty years, first 20 years of owning the system, which um, gives you a net savings of, you know, 13 and a half grand, and it will pay for itself in nine years. Although, like I've said in the other videos, I don't, as long as the payback is within the life of the system, which is generally 25 years, is a fair assumption, um, then it's not really, is it a big problem that it takes nine years to pay for itself when you know, essentially you're, you're better off from month one in terms of cash flow? <clears throat> I think that's, you know, I think that's a pretty rational investment. Uh, so what else can we do? Let's see what the effect is of the opportunity cost because most calculators don't include opportunity cost. So if we untick that checkbox, you'll see it's gone up, the cash flow has gone up by about $50 a month. So I think it's important to include opportunity costs because it makes you know quite a quite a big difference to the cash flow. So let's put that back in. Um, another interesting scenario is, as I said in a previous video, this number here, the 60% at 60 cents per kilowatt hour. And um, that's assuming you can actually export the electricity. What if you're a bit of an energy hog? and you use a lot of electricity and you don't export any. So you, what I'm saying is that you don't get any benefit of the feed-in tariff, essentially. Well, interestingly enough, you're still in cash flow positive territory. Um, you know, it's only $13 a month, but hey, you've got, a, you've got a solar system on your roof and you're doing your bit, and you're still cash flow positive. And obviously with uh, in, inflation of the electricity prices, that's just gonna, you're just going to save more and more every month. Um, and in the payback has doubled to 18 years, but you know I don't think that's an issue as long as you're cash flow positive. So that's how you use the calculator, how you interpret the results. Um, you know, if you've got a, if you've got your quotes, take the numbers off them, put them in the boxes, and make your own mind up whether, from a financial point of view, it's worth going ahead. Thanks very much.